Hello everybody and welcome to Camden Yards in Baltimore. Zach Campbell with you here for the final time this regular season. And look, I am way behind with my videos, so by the time you guys watch this one, it might be the postseason or it might be the year 2037, I have no idea. But the main thing that I'm looking forward to today is connecting with Ben Carhart, Orioles bullpen catcher. I've had him in a bunch of videos and he says that he has something very special for me. And other than that, maybe we'll see the last minute or two of batting practice. This place opens really late, but then during the game, I'll be trying to catch a home run. So all kinds of cool stuff in the works. I can't wait. Let's head inside. I'm watching you on YouTube a lot, man. I appreciate it. That is that. Well, look at this. We have a little BP after all. Feels great to be on the board. And I see lefties up there, so I think we should go to the flag court. Oh, oh hey, Zach. Hey, what's up? on the board with a home run. And I think I see who I want to give this ball to. Hey, would you guys like a baseball? I have one for you too. Give me one sec. Can you put your chin back on You want one too? Well, that is it for Nationals BP, and I'm surprised. They were out there longer than I expected, so there were some opportunities. Got to give them some credit. They were being generous, hooking up some fans with baseballs. So I got a couple. I'll take it. That's pretty good, given the circumstances. And I believe that Mr. Ben Carhart will be walking out of the dugout across the field toward the bullpen in just a few minutes, so I want to head a little closer to the batter's eye and try to catch him there. you guys I will show you an even closer look at it right here Felix Hernandez he was inducted into the Mariners Hall of Fame last month in Seattle I couldn't make it but I heard that there were gonna be commemorative balls just for one game only and I texted Ben and I was like dude if there's any chance that you can grab an extra one for me I actually talked about this when I saw the Orioles recently at Fenway Park and he told me then that he had one of these balls, but not with him at the time. So that's why I drove down to Baltimore today from New York. So, oh my God, this is so rare and special. And I have loved Felix for his entire career. I mean, I got him to sign a ticket for me in Oakland 
in September of 2011. He also threw me a baseball that same day. And back when pitchers actually used to hit, you guys remember that? Felix Hernandez was batting in a game and grounded out for the third out and that ball got tossed into the crowd. So I've gotten a batted ball from Felix. Oh, I even saw him walking past me on the street in Japan when I was there in 2012 for the MLB opening series. So me and Felix, in my own weird way, we go way back. So look at this baseball right here. Oh my God. All right, we can leave now. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you again. This guy right here, he's the man. So that's all I can say. Yes, I want a photo of your collection now. Oh yeah? Yes, I need you to send me one of those. Of like all different commemorative balls? How about your 10 favorite? Okay. Yeah, that'd be fun. Can I, all right. That'd be fun to go back through, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love that man so very much. Nothing. That was a Gunnar Henderson home run. Can I have the best? Right field. The best, Gunnar Henderson. Rookie of the year. Rookie of the year.
game has moved along to the fourth inning. Orioles are still on top one to nothing, and I've been hanging out at the back of the flag court waiting for a home run ball to fly in my direction. And if you look closely at this slowed down shot right here, well, you can see me handing a baseball to a kid. Now, my videographer was getting some scenic shots out on Utah Street right before that happened, but what went down was that Aaron Hicks threw his warm-up ball onto the flag court right before the fourth inning got started. It bounced off someone's bare hand right into my glove, and then she started filming and I handed it off. So that's my fourth ball of the day. And out of the 18 batters on these two teams, 13 are batting from the left side tonight. So there really could slash should be a whole lot more action. So I'm ready. time of the game it is. The score is still one to nothing. Good for the Orioles, bad for anybody rocking the leather out here on the flag court. So maybe a little late inning action, we'll see. starter Kyle Bradish was truly dominant tonight and as a result my effort to catch a home run on the flag court turned out to be pointless but there was a super exciting play in the bottom of the eighth when Gunnar Henderson attempted to steal home but was called out but you know what the Orioles did not even need that potential insurance run because the bullpen was dominant as well Yenier Cano shut things down in the ninth and that was that one to nothing that was the final score. And just bringing things back to Bradish for a moment, he allowed just three hits and two walks in eight innings to improve his record to 12 and seven and lower his ERA for the season to 2.86. And I gotta shout out national starter Josiah Gray, who's not only a very nice guy, but allowed just one run in six innings against this potent Orioles offense. And so this pitcher's duel tonight lasted just two hours and 21 minutes which is a good thing because I got to drive back to New York City so it won't actually be a crazy late night for me. And so I got four baseballs today. I gave three of them away. Can you guess? Can you possibly guess 
which one I kept. Yeah, it's the Felix Hernandez ball. I'm not even gonna take it out of the bag, but I think you can see this logo right here. And if you wanna see this logo even more, well, check the description because I will throw a link there to a page on my website where I have photos of all the commemorative balls over the years, more than 140 different ones. Again, huge thanks to Ben Carhart for hooking this up for me. And also, did you guys notice my shirt? I mentioned 2011 earlier with the whole Felix Hernandez thing. I was at the All-Star Game in Phoenix that year, wrote a nice long blog entry about it. Before I was doing YouTube videos, I wrote a ton on my blog. So I'll link to that entry as well in the description. And so that is it for Baltimore. I'm still going to a bunch more games during the regular season. I'll be in Detroit to see Miggy the final weekend. By the time you watch this and watch those videos, it'll be long done. So bear with me doing the best I can to get all this stuff posted. But the stadium is glorious. Always glad to be here. Will I be back in October for some playoff baseball? I'd say there's a good chance. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Good night, everybody.